Hi, today I'll be showing you how you can enable DLSS 4.0 for Star Citizen. So go and open up the NVIDIA app and add Star Citizen to the list of programs. You, uh, you might not see it at first, so you can add it manually. It lives in the live bin 64 folder. Just add the Star Citizen EXE to the NVIDIA app. And then what you're going to want to change is DLSS override model presets. Uh, just make sure you update your driver so you can see the options. You want to click on, on the first radio button, latest, or use different settings for each DLSS technology. Make sure for super resolution you have latest or preset J, which are the new transformer models. Now we can go check uh, how this works in-game. I'm going to take us to a GPU-bound scenario. Here is offline free flight uh, security post Korea. So in this first scene, uh, I have uh, DLSS off. I'm on 1440p, 9800x3D, RTX 3080. GPU is at full usage, and we're getting a, a good res respectable 100 frames with a 10 millisecond uh, latency. It's pretty good. graphics options uh, turn DLSS on and set it to performance mode. The game you can see is now being uh, rendered at 720p and upscaled to 1440 using the preset K DLSS which is the new uh, model and now we're seeing 125 sometimes 130 frames per second so 25 to 30 percent improvement and a drop in latency. So that's pretty good and it gives older graphics cards uh, more of an edge. And with the new transform model going from 720p to 1440p, you really don't lose any visual fidelity. Honestly, it looks almost like native. I don't think I could tell a difference. Motion clarity is really, really good. I can't see any ghosting uh, as far as I can tell. Any artifacts are most likely from the game engine. The image quality looks pretty, pretty dang crisp and near uh, native, so it's just free FPS. One thing I'll say though that the radar inside all ships doesn't seem to be affected by DLSS, so you end up with this really blurry looking radar. So that's something you might want to think about if you want to turn DLSS on. Personally, it might be worth those frames that you get. 30% is quite a bit, but uh, the, that decision's up to you. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.